What is up, my nub and nub beds? It's your boy, Swiggy Spooty, and I'll be going for that booty. Drop it, drop it low, girl. 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 Drop it, drop it low. Welcome back to today, where we will be having prickly pears. These things right here. They are a fruit from a cactus, and they're also Spanish. Mexico, I think, native Mexico, where they're known as tuna, which is the Spanish translation from prickly pear. Um, they taste amazing, I think. But I want to try them on camera for you guys. And, uh, yeah. So it's pretty easy to open up. So first off, get a knife. Got this big old Michael Myers baby here. You cut off one end. You cut off the other, if I'm doing this right. And then you cut down the middle. Now, be careful with the reds, because the reds tend to stain, but the fruit is actually, it's like a fruit roll-up, the original fruit roll-up, inside here. Now, as you know, the cactuses are actually really watery, so these things themselves are kind of really moist. There's a lot of bigger seeds, in, well, they're not big, but they're seeds, and they're not like watermelon seeds where they can kind of just crunch up. These ones are harder but you can still swallow them and be careful with the reds again they are um very stainy kind of like the pomegranate colors that come out but let's uh go ahead and try one mm. so it does have the texture of a watermelon and the flavor the flavor is really hard to explain unless you've actually had one i don't, I don't know how to explain the flavor just imagine them not as like sweet watermelon, but more um there's more flavor to it at the same time than a watermelon. Mmm. Alright, so that's a red one. There is multiple colors, so we're gonna move on to a green. And you can tell by the outside tasting that if it's like a maroon red, I don't know I'm colorblind, I think this is maroon red. You can see um this coloration is gonna be a red one. But with the green you can tell there's probably going to be a green. And I think there's a yellow one, too, out there. Um, I don't have one on me right now. But there's, like, three colors to the prickly pear. So cut off the end first. Well, wouldn't you believe that? I think this one's a red also. That, that's impossible. Right, let's um, bust it up. It's a red, too. That is so strange. I've never seen a green one pull out a red. Okay, well... But it's a lighter red. So you can see, it's lighter than this red. And it's got a different flavor to it. This one actually tastes like a watermelon. Kind of the same texture. Let's go to part three. And trust me, I'm not wasting these. I'm going to eat these off camera, too. Alright, there's a yellow. So we got a yellow, actually. I thought this would be a green, also. So, cut it like that. And then just peel it back. It's got some bad spots on it, but the inside has no spots whatsoever. All right, there we go. So now we can see a different coloration. We got a yellow here. So the yellow ones will probably taste way different. Sweeter. So if I was to say the flavor are sweet to more tart, sweet, middle sweet, and then kind of more towards the tart side. But there's not sour. Mmm. Damn. It's really good. It's worth it. Um, I don't know if you can find these at your local stores. But if you go to more, like, a Mexican market, you're more likely to find prickly pears. And it's a cactus fruit. And, yeah, it's scrum diddly umptious. It is quenching. Dang. But, yeah, the outsides are cactuses. I don't know if there's prickly parts on them or not. But, yeah, that's about it. If I was to rate these fruits... They're actually one of my most favorites now. I like them a lot. I would give it, um, I would give it like an eight and a half out of ten for a fruit rating. This isn't like a gourmet fruit, but it's really freaking good. I don't know how you can get gourmet fruit, like unless you made a recipe out of it. But yeah, eight and a half out of ten is Sweetie Sweetie's rating for the prickly pear, aka tuna. They're really freaking good. So make sure you guys hit that like button. Make sure you guys comment down below stuff that you want to see me eat. Uh, I am going to go up to the Del Mar Loop in St. Louis, which has an oriental place. 
really cool. A lot more Asian Asianic foods there, which I'll definitely try out. And make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, because if you do, at my 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to give a $50 gift card away to one lucky person. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. And this has been Sweetie Sweetie. If you're not subscribed yet, I won't be. But if you have subscribed, I'll be coming for that booty. And oh, my fingers are sticky. Ugh. Stay drip to the feet, night ticks on fleet. Fuck with it, fuck me, fuck shorty, fall free. Ain't no killers, I'm just killing all these beats. Uh. Ain't no killers, I'm just killing all these beats. Uh. Stay drip.